everyone, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my rant stroke thought of the day. Bit of a rant this one, no surprise. Newcastle United have launched a new away kit and it is a green kit. And you know what happens every time Newcastle United do anything in green? Yes, they come out the woodwork. All the fucking wet wipes and the virtue signalers. Oh, when do you want that strip to be looking like? What company does that look like? We've already seen one from uh, a northeast journalist that's come out and implied there's obviously a green top that looks like Saudi Arabia. But it's quite interesting because if you look at the top, it's actually quite a nice top, to be honest with you. But if you look at the top, unlike the white one, which I can maybe say drew a lot of parallels to the Saudi Arabian top, you could actually say it looks like a fucking island top. It looks like a fucking Mexican top. Um, you could pick up loads of countries. Even Morocco, uh, who play in green, I think. Um, you can't just say it's Saudi Arabian because it's green. Not every single colour that is green uh, is associated with Saudi Arabia. Now, if you cast your mind back to uh, the early 90s, uh, when you cast United wore that banging ASICS kit, the black and white with McEwen's lager on, the blue, there was also an away strip that was fucking green. And by the wonder of Magic Mark, I was going to pull that picture up probably right about now and show you that. So maybe look at the memory banks, look at the history of Newcastle United, you fucking wet wipes, and realise that we've had green strips before, even before we were owned by Saudi Arabia, 80% of it, that is. But it's just lazy journalism, once again, a chance for these fucking idiots to come out riding in, in their white steeds, acting like some kind of virtue signaling superhero where they didn't give a fuck about any of this a few years ago and they wouldn't have given a fuck about this if Manchester United had been bought by Saudi Arabia or Liverpool who also have a green and white shirt. I bet that doesn't get as much media presence as our green shirt does. This is further adding fuel to the fire of this agenda against Newcastle United because they're owned by the Saudi Arabians. Obviously the rise of the Saudi League isn't going to help this either. It's probably going to piss people off even more but it doesn't surprise me. We already tagged a tweet in for the two traditional wet wipes that are Oliver Holt and Miguel Delaney, who have gone quite quiet so far, but I'm sure they'll be out, you know, talking about how disgraceful is the sports washing. Um, Newcastle United have a green shirt, and uh, especially Oliver Holt, as he seems to forget when he was waxing lyrically, even wrote poems about how wonderful it was in Saudi Arabia and Anthony Joshua. Well, he seems to have forgotten that. The internet does not forget, mate. So, uh, so you can just remember that when you tweet things out there, Oliver Holt. But yes, I'm sure we're going to get jumped on by the media, but let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like the strip or not? I think it's quite nice, actually. I think it's nicer than that white one was. Um, and I'm sure many fans will be running to the shops to get them, as long as Castori can actually keep up with the demand. Don't get me started on them shit houses. The sooner we get rid of them, the better. But that's my rant done for the day. Very quick one, uh, just about the strip. And if you like this kind of thing, smash subscribe, come and join us. We're over 4,000 subs now. Like the video, help get it around YouTube. We'll be back with some more Newcastle United crack soon enough and an odd rant here and there just like this one. Have a good day, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.